Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today I'm hopping in and I'm going to be going over a question that I very recently got from one of our comments here. Uh, it's from, a, uh, I think it's Dibblesaurus I believe is what you say. They wanted to know what the best build would be if you were going to be going off and fighting the Broodmother for your first time or multiple times after if you had multiple people with you. All of the videos that I have done on the Broodmother have always been just on what you should do if you're in single player player and different ways to fight her if you are fighting in single player. So I'm here to show you guys the different armor setups and perk setups that I would suggest you guys do including what role that character will play depending on how many people you have in the group with you. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is two people and then I'll go to three and then I'll go to four depending on how many people you guys have in your party. But before we hop in make sure you guys like comment and subscribe but let's hop in let's talk about some more armor. So first of all as you know we are always going to need our tank class. You're going to need your tank no matter what. Your tank is going to wear all ladybug armor. They are the ones that are going to take the damage and they are also going to be the ones with the heaviest weapon sitting up there doing the most damage okay when playing like this you are going to require to have some sort of healing item on you so keep healing items on you no matter what i would suggest smoothies maybe attack plus smoothies for this character first and the second character is going to be a ranged slash support character okay this range slash support character is meant to stay on the outside, take care of ads, and in emergency, go through and help out by healing the person that's taking the most damage from the Broodmother. So, this will work this way if you go through and you grab yourself some spider gear with the feather crow hat to make sure that your ranged weapon is doing the most damage. I just put a bow up. You can use a crossbow. I decided to put the spider bow up just because it allows you to move a little bit quicker. Um, it may not do as much damage, but you should also be using bombs with this class as well for add, um, for add takedown. So very important these two classes together will work really well let's talk perks for a second the perks are going to stay the same no matter how many people are in your class or in your group because you're going to need all these separate perks no matter what to fight the broodmother so first of all mithridism 100% needed all the time i don't care when you're gonna go fight her you always need mithridism why because Mithridism keeps you from being poisoned and the Broodmother's poison is the most deadly thing about her. So, Mithridism, you're going to need it, just use it. The other one is Reliable Friend. Why? You never know when something's gonna happen and your friend is gonna go down. So, having Reliable Friend on means you can run over and pick them back up really fast and as long as it's not a full group wipe, you will still be able to go through and keep fighting the Broodmother. So having a reliable friend on, making it so you can heal people faster is a bonus. Now you'll see I don't have a third perk selected because that third perk is all independent on the class that you are currently playing. So for instance, if you're playing the tank, you should have Barbarian on because you're using that two-handed club-like weapon. You're gonna be doing a lot of damage. You should have Barbarian on. If you want to go a little bit more protected instead, you can do meat shield. It's going to give you a little bit more health. But when I come down to it, I believe that Barbarian is better than meat shield unless you're playing on like the epic hard mode that's in the game. But I still would say one of those two perks, it's your choice. Now for the support class, you should have sharpshooter on because you are using a bow weapon and you're going to be throwing a lot of arrows out of your bow at different things. You're doing add support, damaging the broodmother when you can from a distance, but focusing on healing your, your friend. A secondary perk, if you want to use it, if you wanted to remove a reliable friend for whatever reason, even though you're the support character, and you wanted to put something else on, cardio fam would be a good one just so you can run a little bit longer. But you are playing with multiple people, so just be careful with how long you're going to be running and how long you're going to be keeping away from your friends. Okay, so that's the general perk setup. I'll go over the perks for the other two as we add each character. So let's go on to if you're playing with a third character. Your third friend is going to be the fast person in the game. How this is going to change. So this character is now going to be wearing all spider gear. Okay, and they're going to have a Weevil Shield and a Spider Fang Dagger. This is to go through and help with ad management, but not as much. Your job is to get in and get out and make sure your friends are now alive. At this point, 
you the second character is no longer the support character the third person is the overall support character they are doing nothing but supporting you okay supporting the other two people who are throwing out the damage and fighting some ads in the brood mother when they can when she goes silly then you run in and do your damage that's the purpose of the weevil shield to make sure that you can block more damage because this gear doesn't bode as much damage support um or damage blocking as say the uh ladybug gear would but it is going to allow you to move a little bit quicker being able to get in those tight spaces and being able to heal your friends this one all i would suggest you do with this one is leave the other two perks on and then add the assassin perk to make it so your spider fang dagger does that much more damage so that is if you're playing with three people you now have tank uh ranged and support okay let's go to the fourth one this is where things get a little bit more tricky because this fourth setup is all about perfect blocking this fourth setup adjusts some things a little bit with four people the fourth person is now the tank they are there to take all of the damage because they can perfect block the brood mother over and over and over and over again with the lady with this koi armor and with the weevil shield on you will be able to block the brood mother repeatedly so you won't run into as many problems with taking damage how that changes the first character this character is now here to just deal damage once again large weapon they are here to deal out the most damage that they possibly can in a short amount of time so this character now changes up a little bit is no longer tank they're now damage damage support and blocking okay and that's how it's going to change this guy right here if you're playing as this character you still use mithridism you still use reliable friend but you would add meat shield no matter what to this one because you're not there to deal damage you're there to take damage so keep that in mind okay let's talk about one item that everybody should have on no matter what no matter what class you're having on it's actually two but one i kind of throw around a little bit smoothies no matter what everybody you're always going to need smoothies on each and every one of the characters that are playing because it is the best way to heal yourself the fastest way possible but over time you are going to require more heals and that is where the most important item that comes in when you're playing with your friends is and that is heal bosses heal bosses are a wide group range healing item that heal everybody in the party as long as they are near each other now i do not suggest you guys are near each other that often but we'll get to that in just a second but heal bosses if you guys all run together and throw one at the ground the entire party gets healed a lot and then you could go back to dealing damage again heal bosses are super duper important for this build so go through get a couple heal bosses out because you're going to need them for when you're going in and fighting the brood mother because there's a lot of damage that's dealt not only by the brood mother but all of her ads as well now let's talk a couple tactics before we wrap up the video now tactic wise First of all, when you are the tank, you are the tank. Believe that you are the tank. Choose the best person that's the best at perfect blocking and have them stand there and be the tank. They are there to take damage and deal it back if you're only playing with two people. Otherwise, they are there to take a beating. Don't try to run around and be the hero. You are the tank for a reason. Heal yourself only and focus on blocking the Broodmother's attacks. Keep aggro on you by keeping and hitting her every now and then. But you are there to take the damage for the party and block for the party. If you are the ranged character that is doing ad support, make sure you're keeping the ads off of your tank. That means all the little spiderlings and all the little door weaver juniors, keep them off of your tank because they're already dealing with enough with having to deal with the brood mother attacking. And lastly, if you are playing as a support character, stock up on as many healing items as you can for the group, not for yourself. That means a crap load of heal bosses keep them on your character constantly you want to constantly be throwing them around at everybody i would suggest literally probably 40 or 50 of them i know that's a lot but when your job is only to run around deal with some ads every now and then but focus on healing your friends you need to be ready for when one of them calls out and that is the last thing i want to talk to you guys about and that is call outs call outs of when you need help is super important teamwork when you're fighting a boss like the brood mother in this game whether it's on mild media or woe you are going to need to communicate with your team if you have a support character that's supposed to be healing you you need to call for heals don't be joking around when you're fighting the brood mother stay focused have everybody focused in on what you're doing have a good time doing it but when you're fighting on even woe mode as a group the brood mother 
other is that much harder. She's four times harder when you have four people with you than she is if you're fighting her solo. So just keep that in mind when you guys are going through and fighting her. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure you guys hit that like button for me. Let me know you guys want to see more. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below if you guys would go through and change any of these classes that you guys have seen here because I think that I got a pretty good layout here going. But if you guys have a better one, I'd love to know it. As always, thank you guys so much and I'll see all of you guys in the next one.